you. He is looking at you and he is asking this. Why don't you like the video right now? Hey, before the video starts, I'm gonna need you to bring some gas. Yes, gasoline. This channel, Kaiser from Crete, is a fabricator and I farm everything but gas. And that gas is your subscription. Are we clear on that? Now, if you get the gas by subscribing, video starts. Welcome back to episode 7 of season 4 of my official Small Tribe series. And we are still alive on this new day. It is so nice to wake up and see your base is still there. But I gotta find my gas mask ASAP. Alright, let's get this and we will move on to the next clip. But look at all these dinos. They're all getting bigger. I just like how this is looking. So, here is the logs. We just have this weird thing. I think one guy with some bug name died. And other than that, we are totally fine. We got two cryofridges for breeding now. They get almost full when we cryo all the dinos that are out. Here is my favorite dino, snow owls. We have almost perfect breeding pair of snow owls. I also got a lot of females. I'm gonna hatch and raise all of them. One baby hatch from the new batch. Welcome to Kaiser Core, little one. But no, no, Kaiser Core is gone. Sad moment. And here, the others hatch too. But still, I got some more eggs incubating. This was so bad, I was doing a meat run and some guy dropped a giga on top of my giga. Mine was a meat run giga so I just died instantly. But the worst thing is I lost my good flag. We need to get flag BPs as soon as possible. We can't wear prim in the swamp cave. Alright so before I built the teleporter, I decided to build an open crafting station right next to it. So this is the layout and I will see you when it is done. Alright, it is pretty much done. I plan to add another in the forge and two tower at each side. Then it will be 100% finished. We got a Rex baby. We are breeding Rexes now. Also, so many other babies here. Pteranodon babies are hatched. So many snow owls. So many. And this is awesome. And here is the thumbnail. Finally, we started to breed willows. We need a lot of them in this cave. But of course, we need a good line. So all the babies are cleared out and cry out. 
I am about to log out for the day and I'm just getting ready for that. After a while, even logging out takes some time to prepare. If you don't do that, you might lose your day's work. All right, now I will put my gas mask here and log out in the respawn screen. I almost never leave my character sleeping in my base, even if it's a good base like this. And if you do the same, you can't get caged by your enemies while you are sleeping. So for some reason I came back for 2 hours later and this is what I see. I do not see any beds at our TP. Looks like it is gone. I placed my gas mask in this vault but now it is not here. That happens a lot when you don't have personal vaults. Alright I found a gas mask and now we look at the logs. In 2 hours we lost a lot of stuff. Hopefully all from outside. I just built an outside crafting station and we got attacked. This is boring. So before I go out and check the damage, let me show you this. Looks like there is nothing wrong with our cave defenses. Our wall is stronger than ever. Also, let's see the tunnel if there's any damage there. So these defenses are intact. That is nice. Our spam and dinos here looks alright too. So all the things we lost was from outside teleporter area. So this is the end of today, but I cut out too much and this video is not long enough. I actually didn't go outside and check the damage in this day because I was probably too tired and didn't have any time to stay any longer. But we are going to tomorrow in this episode. Welcome to tomorrow. Looks like we survived the night and logs show nothing. The enemy didn't came to our cave, so let's go out and see the damage. So I managed to run this far. Let's see what is left. Alright, looks like the TP is gone, the tower is dropped and the crafting station is mostly destroyed. For some reason, the Jenny here is still working. They didn't bother to destroy it, I guess. And crop plots under the foundation. Let's go. We save the fertilizers. That is good. The foundations I placed for the new TP area, they all got damaged, but none of them is destroyed. That is kind of weird. Alright, finally, the crafting station. Let's see what we have in these vaults. I just built this crafting station. I just built this crafting station. This is really annoying. What is this? I think this is all the stuff Raz saved. The gunpowder the raiders left behind and heavies around the base. He took all that and put in this vault. Not bad actually. Heavy turrets are always good. At least we didn't lose everything. Alright, now we can be done. In the next episode, I will stop trying to have an outside crafting station. And I will try to build a good teleporter design. Something that cannot be soaked in a few hours and also looks nice. But for now, this episode is over. In the next episode, we will be on the same day. But the first thing we're gonna do is going back to 83 Valguero and farming for the new stuff. And now, thank you for watching, dear watchers. See you on the next episode.